it's not easy to get to the point where we actually can put a uh, nose guard. There's a lot, a lot of steps. Mm -hmm. uh, it's crazy. It's with sounding to be able to get uh, authorized to do it. It's got to get vetted, this, that, and the other. Uh, this is, I think this project has been going on maybe for as much as a year, trying to get through the, you know, the organization and uh, working with these guys, but obviously uh, through our command and, mm -hmm. and all of that. So, uh, yeah, just getting to this place where these guys actually come out and put it on the plane, uh, it's, it, that's a major hurdle to get over. And, uh, it does look great. Anybody seen it? Wherever we go, TDY, just have the other people walk up. Yeah. Obviously, know where you're from. Want to talk about it? So yeah, I think it's pretty special. So it's uh, definitely boost morale and everything. Most definitely, most definitely. And it, it, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. The plane's uh, it, it, uh, I don't know, just uh, definitely, definitely take pride in it. Take, uh, something unique to this unit. Um, we take, you go upstairs and you can see all the work that we all continually takes to kind of keep it up. All the wear and tear. This plane's obviously this plane's 1958, so it's uh, every 10 years or so we try to do uh, refurbishment and all that. So yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's really good. Um, I work with units that uh, that didn't always have nose art, so just to be able to get off, off uh, each aircraft has something unique about it. Um, it's 